So it's now Saturday and it, it's transfer time. It's transfer time to transfer some from here over to there and from, well, can't go from there to over there. But we have noticed that one of the yellow ducks, the Pekins, are getting out. So we're gonna have to figure some out. But I did put a little pool in for them. That'll be their the drink and splash source and whatnot. But, so I did transfer, I did just grab a couple chicks from there. And um, I did transfer a couple chicks from here. I just didn't grab it on video. I didn't think about doing it. But, so I, there were some chicks that flew up on the side rails. And um, I was like, oh no. So I, I transferred them over. I'm gonna give a little bit longer for some of these and before I transfer them out. Um, I just don't think they're at that point just yet. So they're gonna wait. And then the ducks, I'll probably give uh, maybe another week or so. They're all but at the age that I can start taking them out. But I'm gonna give them a little bit more time and said these guys will have a little bit more time. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And of course, the, these babies have a while to get to go. Um, some I might transfer them over. Um, this guy, and there's another one in there. It looks like it's at that point of flying and you can see it's speedy. So those might go over. But let's take these guys over. Or outside, I should say. What's going on guys? It's Zach here from Haga's Butt Nuggets on Facebook or Haga's Adventures, soon to be Haga's BN on YouTube. And I'm out here, of course, getting late night with the flock. And as I said, I've been uh, breaking down the hill slowly. We can tell like right here is where I came down, stopped at tonight. And you, it's starting to look better. I'm getting a good pile coming here, which I'm gonna have to clean up. I'm thinking about going to get a trailer that I can, like a lawn trailer that I can attach to the back of the lawnmower or something. And to, so I can just collect this all, shovel it up in there and then take it to um, up front there and dispose of it so, and so that's all taken care of also i started cleaning up down here and you can see where i stopped here i stopped at the door i'm making small sections at a time which now with getting all this up i'm starting to see some grass starting to pop up which is awesome that's what i want and it will get be better for the chickens and whatnot and I'm thinking about maybe growing or putting some wheat or some type of other feed down in here with a uh, mallard just flew down from who knows where. But anyways, um, some type of foliage for them so they can come up and peck. But I haven't figured that out yet. But um, yeah, so I got a good run here going. And it's slowly getting there i gotta bring something up to because they used to go up there and give dirt bass up in this corner so i want to fill that back in but i'll probably do that after i take the fencing up and bugs and i uh, get rid of this junk but that is coming soon you got the ducks going after the female you got Safi jr here She's a sapphire gem. There is, is that the? California whites and uh, white leghorns look so similar, but the only way to really tell is by the ear, which I think that is the leghorn. But uh, yeah, they're slowly making their way back in. So, and it's uh, getting, 
that time. It's 7.35 here in PA. And yeah, um, not much going on. Just another day after work, slowly rounding down. Slowly getting stuff done. Working on a big project that I've been telling y'all I've been wanting to do. And slowly but surely this week, I'm just raking down little by little. I got raked down a little bit here, starting. Then the next day I jumped over and then raked pretty much on the other, well, from the tree over, raked that. Then I uh, would did a little section from the, say this tree to that tree. And then I did from say this tree to, well, you can see where I stopped. Yeah, and same on this side, just trying to work straight down. I gotta move, move the spool, which honestly should probably don't need to be down here, but it's staying down here since it's already here. Um, yeah. Hopefully soon, I'll be able to, there'll be uh, more grass here they can get off of because that's one big thing there it's hurting not they need that grass and there's not really anything down here and getting rid of all this this uh brown crap from last year will uh definitely help get rid of all and regrow that's one big thing is getting rid of all of that old stuff which uh, it might come back in in here with the lawnmower and most likely i'll bring the roller down in here too and just make some passes and uh try to roll out this land because right now it's soft and well that it will form better so try to roll that smooth again gotta fill some holes in like that one but that'll be another day I'd like to get that rock out that's right there and just little stuff the tree stump is slowly going um i get a little bit off here and there i think the chickens peck at it which that helps it slowly grow and get out of here i got a guinea on the outside there i still have yet to move the coop um i'm going to need some extra hands to move that up there that'll be hopefully tomorrow or friday and yeah so as i said not too much going on um it rained today so i didn't think i was going to be able to come out here and really do anything because i'm not getting out here and getting soaked um yeah so we'll see where this week takes us and uh hopefully we can get some more done this weekend is easter weekend so i i know i probably won't be around the house um that much this weekend going doing easter stuff and going visit people and whatnot so well family so probably not going to get much done this weekend unfortunately but it it's one of those things but yeah so Let's see what we get in this week. Hopefully get more done uh, Thursday and Friday. Hopefully weather cooperates and we can get some stuff down the house done and well, around here. But now it's time to get them put away. All the uh, night tours are done. So yeah, we'll just uh, go from there. So it's now Saturday and it's transfer time. It's transfer time to transfer some from here over to there and from, well, can't go from there to over there. But we have noticed that one of the yellow ducks, the Pekins, are getting out. So we're gonna have to figure some out. But I did put a little pool in for them. That'll be their the drink and splash source and whatnot. But, so I did transfer, I did just grab a couple chicks from there 
and um i did transfer a couple tricks chicks from here i just didn't grab it on video i didn't think about doing it but so i there were some chicks that flew up on the side rails and um i was like oh no so i i transferred them over i'm going to give a little bit longer for some of these and before i transfer them out um, I just don't think they're at that point just yet, so they're gonna wait. And then the ducks, I'll probably give uh, maybe another week or so. They're all but at the age that I can start taking them out, but I'm gonna give them a little bit more time. And said so these guys will have a little bit more time. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. And of course, the, these babies have a while to get to go. Um, some I might transfer them over. Um, this guy, and there's another one in there. It looks like it's at that point of flying, and you can see it's speedy. So, those might go over. But let's take these guys over. Or outside, I should say. I'll just turn off the light later. Sorry guys, I'm wandering through my basement. All right, now I got. So I did originally put, um, uh, earlier I brought this up, which I got netting that I'm gonna put around also. But originally uh, I did take it, uh, this chick out from there and I did put it in the run yesterday or last night I should say but um I just found her there's a hole in the stump and I just found her in there luckily I caught her in time so she didn't um die but I found her in the stump and so I'm going to give her more time to grow and go from there uh, i don't think that they might make their way up top i gotta make a new ramp i'll probably do that at work this week someday and then i gotta measure in this nesting box there it's not it's flimsy and i need to make some. i need to measure that and so i can cut something out for that but uh so let's transfer let's give this chick uh some friends uh let me set you up here somewhere so I can use both hands I don't know if I'll be able to do this or not but I don't like that can't really see uh, what do I want to put you I guess I could get out my tripod there we go. No, what? Go. Gotta take that back down to the basement. But now the zombie chicken hen has uh, some friends. There's the rooster. He's a big boy already. And you got uh, the speckled susacks. Can't remember what those two are. I believe that's uh, I say brown there. 
that we've got out so far. But uh, yeah. Now they, today, well already it's starting to get warm so they'll have plenty of sunlight today. Um, I got that small water container they'll be able to drink for a little bit. And uh, might have to feed, fill up the feeder but other than that, there's the yellow speckled. That's where, that's what, uh, I don't know. Is that, no, that ain't speckled. Wait, yes it is. I do have two speckled. But, uh, so I have a smaller speckled. And then I got that one. I thought I only had one. But anyways, that's what it'll turn into. Which are pretty. See if I can find the other one. The other one's a lot smaller, and usually it gets out. <whistles> usually, if I whistle, they come running. They might be laying in the boxes, so, but. I don't know where the other speckle is. I'm guessing it's probably out somewhere in the woods. But the this ain't doing good. Um, I only had corn, and the corn's already starting to die because I guess it's still too cold. I gotta put. I want to get more poles, um, and then I'm gonna probably put a fencing around, maybe in a little bit. Um, this weekend's going to be a busy weekend, so I don't know if I'll be able to do it this weekend, but we're going to try. Chicks need to get adapted to the outside. They have some grass they can peck at. You got these weirdos, which I want to take the Polish and get them separated. But yeah, there's the speckled. Seems like she like just tripled in size overnight because I know she wasn't that big before. But uh yeah. I just love their colors. Speckle two sex. If you ever want to get one. But my phone's starting to die, so I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't go please like and like this page um, go to Facebook, go like Hagus Butt Nuggets, and please, subscri please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and go like Hagus Butt Nuggets on Facebook. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.